Hello everyone and welcome to the Prepping Essentials channel. Whether you're already familiar with the concept of prepping, or if you're completely new to the subject and wondering what it's all about, I'm sure that you'll find something which is both informative and useful in your daily life. If you like this video, then please click on the like button and don't forget to also click on the subscribe button so you can easily find your way back and so that you can be informed whenever new content is added. We'd also love to hear any questions or suggestions you might have, so be sure to leave them in the comments section below. Finally, be sure to watch to the end of the video for the chance to win some free prepping gear. But for now, let's get right into today's video topic. For most people, the world is generally a stable, peaceful and predictable place. The transportation, communication and utility services are generally reliable. Mains power and water flows freely in the home. Food and other basic needs are readily available in the local marketplace. And the state welfare or emergency services are ready to provide assistance in times of crisis. But what if this was suddenly not the case? The country and its people are becoming ever more reliant on technology, internet connectivity, and in many cases, an elderly and creaking infrastructure to deliver their daily basic needs. The fragility of this complex delivery network will occasionally become evident in the form of a brief and localised disruption in service. Every so often, the water or electricity supply may be cut off for a few hours. Or the odd ATM machine may run out of money, particularly at the weekend. But life goes on and the temporary inconvenience is quickly forgotten. The world too is becoming ever more connected. Internet and satellite TV provide instant communication across the globe. Air travel provides the ability to cross the continents in hours rather than days or weeks. This too, however, presents both benefits and dangers. Products that we use and want in our everyday life can quickly be transported across the world. Unfortunately, so too can conflict and infectious diseases. When it comes to danger, the world is, it seems, truly without borders. Disruption, danger and crisis come in many forms. Far too many for us to cover in this single video. However, the key to coping with and overcoming whatever challenges life may throw at, throw at us is being prepared in advance. In other words, prepping. Prepping is a hobby for some and a lifestyle choice for many. Some people may just store an extra couple of days worth of food and water in the pantry, while others may have substantial quantities of supplies and equipment or even a second home to repeat to if a disaster affects their normal life. The most important thing to stress right here at the start is that you can start small and expand on your prepping activity as and when your personal circumstances allow. Starting with the basics is not expensive or time consuming and you should be able to integrate it into your normal lifestyle with a minimum of effort. It's your decision to start which is the key. Potential challenges come in all forms and sizes. I'm sure that you'll probably have thought about or even encountered many of them during your lifetime. Examples of the more common or likely issues might include loss of mains water, electric or gas, unforeseen unemployment or simply running out of fuel in your car. Then there are the less common but very real dangers of extreme weather events, pandemics or civil unrest. Any of these examples can easily occur in any country and the main point to stress is that you cannot know for certain how long they could last for. So how well would you cope if you suddenly lost your job? Most households have less than a month's salary in savings. Consider for a moment how easily you could cope if the electricity supply to your home was suddenly cut off. Think about all of the things that you could not do in your home without it. What about if the water stopped flowing from the taps? The average person needs to drink around three litres a day 
and will die after three days without water. How long would you be able to cope if a snowstorm or other weather event blocked the roads and stopped the trucks from resupplying your local supermarkets? Supermarkets today rely on daily deliveries and their shelves will be completely empty after just a few days of not having a resupply. Or what about if news started to appear on the TV about an infectious disease spreading across the country? One thing you can be sure of is that any of these events occurred, it would not take long for civil disorder and looting to become widespread across the country. The objective of this channel and our sister website is to offer a platform to discuss the subject of prepping and to provide information and guidance on the subject of how to better prepare yourself for the challenges any of these events might bring. Topics for discussion will cover all aspects of prepping, such as sourcing, purifying and storing water, building up reserve stores of food or identifying potential sources of food during a crisis. We'll discuss a range of other stores or equipment you might need to provide shelter, power, fuel or security during a crisis. And we'll discuss how to cope if you're forced to leave your home and seek shelter elsewhere, along with tips on sustainability into the future. Well, I hope that you found this video to be informative or at least thought provoking. If so, please click on the like button and don't forget you can also click on the subscribe button to find your way back here or to be informed of when new content is added. As I said before, we'd also love to hear any questions or suggestions you might have, so be sure to leave them in the comments section below. Finally, before I go, I mentioned at the start there'd be a chance to win some free prepping gear, so here it is. Go visit our website at www.preppingessentials.co.uk Fill in your details on the contact page and in the comment section Say that you've seen today's introduction to prepping video and tell us our answer to this question. It is in this video. How much money does the average household having savings? Is it three months? Is it one month? Or is it less than a month? We'll select three people at random from those who respond by the end of January 2019 and we'll send them an item of prepping gear. This could be a fire starting kit, a seven in one combination tool, or a water bottle and purification tablets. Good luck with competition, and I hope to see you again on the channel very soon. Bye for now.